that could potentially be a nice video to compare the two. Will I do that? Probably not. But it is a very nice ex excuse for me to buy the palette, isn't it? Well, hello my lovely nestlings and welcome to today's video where I'm going to chat about new makeup, sneak peeks, releases, giftable things, things that I find interesting uh, that have been shown in the last week on Instagram. I feel like it's slow right now that I or maybe I just don't find a lot of things interesting right now. It could very well be that. As you can see, my makeup is very minimal today. It's just base makeup, falsies and the lip oil. That's that's it. Let's just get into it today. I I'm trying out a new intro and I am failing miserably. So I'm just going to skip the intro. If you're new, welcome. I'm just going to go to the side. The things that I will talk about today are listed down in the description box. And I do have things that I found interesting. There's still a giveaway, uh, which I uh, announced in the previous Let's Talk Makeup number 182. And I will link it down below. You have to enter there. I will explain everything in that video. Uh, but it's still live. I will draw uh, the names next week. Yes. Let's start with me giving you a spider warning because I know that I have people here who are afraid of spiders and I'm going to talk about two spider related things first. So if you are afraid of spiders, maybe look away now because I'm going to put the picture up of a ring that I saw and this is by Rogue and Wolf and this is just such a cool ring. I love, I love this. I love the way that this is looking. I th it's very, very pretty. It's a US, it's a size US 8 to US 9. It's available on their website and Amazon USA. I don't know if I would potentially be able to order this, but it looks very, very pretty. So I wanted to mention it. Yeah. Um, the next thing that I'm going to mention is just, I find very, very cute. So these are jumping spider baby spiderlings, basically. Um, it's kind of like watermelon gummies. That's what she's saying. Um, and these are Yeah, they look like gummies. They're not though. They're resin art, but they're just so, so cute that I was like, oh, I need to mention these because they are just too cute not to talk about, at least according to me. Uh, the shop is called Hazel Owlery and the owner makes them all, the, all um, by hand and they are just so, so cool. So I will link down below where you can find them. And uh, let me know if you know the artist. I will also link uh, the Instagram handle down below. I will also link the Instagram handle of the previous one down below. Uh, it's a shop, Rogue and Wolf. They kind of have witchy, gothic -y inspired jewelry. So go check them out. And go check out Hazel Owlery as well. Uh, there are some things available in the Etsy shop that I will also link down below for you guys. Yes. Uh, um, you can watch again now because all the spider pictures are down. Yes. I'm going to go next to Clayworks by Jen, and I have mentioned this artist regularly in my new makeup, re in my new release videos, because these are just so, so cool. Now, so you see here a picture of Kai, and he is a reef back Leopleurodon. I hope I'm not going to try it again. It's yes, but it's just I I love this artist so so much. Uh, this is part of the shop update for august uh, it's so it's so cool and the august update will be ocean themed there are more things that are going to be included but i saw this one first i really loved it and i wanted to mention it i will link the instagram handle down below i will leave the shop down below they are just so so cool uh, let me know if you have ever ordered anything from this artist and Yeah, how happy you are with your purchase. Let's next go to makeup. Um, because yes, as I said, I do have some in some things that I'm interested in. So let's start with Colourpop. What I'm interested in from the new release of Colourpop are their bronzers. Their Super Shock bronzers. Now, I have not watched Amanda's video yet. I hope that she's able to swatch compare them to the Chocolate Soleil from uh, Too Faced. Because that's a perfect color for me. Mm. And um, yeah, be, me being an olive, bronzers can do weird stuff. So I kind of hope that she's able to compare, swatch them a little bit. But I'm very, very interested in those. For the rest of the collection, yeah, that looks cute. The eyeshadow palette is meh. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, but it's... Is there a cream shade in there? There is. Really? Oh. There are also four blotted lips in there. 
Um, and then the Super Shock Bronzers, they are back, they are saying. Next, I actually uh, got... Um, well, not tagged, but one of you mentioned this in my in the live stream from uh, last week or this week that Laura Mercier was coming out with an olive toned setting powder. There are ultra blur, talk free, translucent loose setting powders from Laura Mercier. They are 44 bucks. There's translucent, which is for fa very fair to medium. Then honey is medium skin tones with olive, warm, and golden undertones. And then medium deep is for the deepest skin tones. Olive, warm, and golden. Yeah. Olive is not golden. It's a very, very big difference. Um, I have tried a golden foundation on my face. It made me peach, which is not really the look I go for usually. So, but there is one. Uh, if you have tried this one, let me know if it warps on you. Um, yeah. Looking at the picture, it looks very yellow for me. So I would probably personally go for the translucent one. But I am glad that they are gearing one towards olive skin tones. Or at least a little bit. So if you are an olive, let me know if you've tried the powder. Let me know what it does as well. Because I am interested. Yes. Let's next go to um, REM Beauty by Ariana Gra Grande. I am not really following her brand a lot. But I did find this very, very interesting. Because she's going to come out with a concealer. Um, which is uh, basically in a pot. And there's also going to be a blender. Oh, so you can... I, I'm guessing because of the shape of the blender, pick up the uh, thingy from the... The concealer from the pot. Yes, wow, it's difficult today. And there are also blotting papers, which I don't care about because I don't use them. Maybe you do. What I did find interesting, though, is that the concealer is 60, 60 shades. 60. Yes. It's available July 28th on their website. I am actually quite curious to try it. If I can find an olive. And it looks to be um, basically light, medium and deep. Kind of, and then different undertones. There are different finishes, but it looks to be not uh, 78 shades of, of light uh, or, or beige, basically. And then some very light and then 310 and two very deep or something. It looks to have quite a nice range to it. I am interested, actually. Yes. Wow. Uh, the next thing I'm also interested in uh, are new blush colors from Juvia's Place. So they have, they already had some blushes that were color wise not really what I went for. However, these look very pretty. So basically, volume two is featuring soft pops of peach. I like. That's the orangey one. If I make another Juvia's Place order, I will definitely throw throw at least one in because I really would like to try these. The colors look very, very pretty. So let me know if you've tried any. I'm not going to make a separate Juvia Space order just for blushes. I have quite a lot of blushes. But yeah, what can I say? I would love to try it. I would love to try them. So the next thing that I'm super interested in, actually, uh, the common denominator is base makeup. A lot of base makeup in this video. What I'm also very interested in is that Smashbox has launched their new Halo Sheer to stay cream cheek and lip tint. Now Smashbox is sold at Beauty Bay. So if it's probably coming to Beauty Bay, when it comes to Beauty Bay, I will try one. Because I love their Halo tinted moisturizer, which I wish would also come in a shade lighter. Because the light olive is very much medium olive. But... You know, but these, yeah, I would love to try these. I love cream blushes. Do I have a lot of cream blushes? Yes. <laughs> but I still would love them. I would love to try this one. I'm very much having my eye on Smashbox right now. So, yeah. Uh, let me know if you've tried these. Let me know. I'm very interested. Oh, yes. The next thing. Mm, this is so, so cute. So, you see here face punches and this is by a freaking fabulous cosmetics and they are if i'm not mistaken a reseller site but these are just too cute yes they're just too cute what can i say they're halloween face punches would i use them no honestly if i were to buy these and i think they were around 10 to 12 pounds so that's not too bad for uh, um, a heap load of sponges eight 
I, I would buy these to display. I would not use these. No, no. I would buy these and I would put them in the background and uh, on my desk because they would make me happy. Yeah. Um, Stickerdolls.com. Oh, by Stickerdolls? Are they from Stickerdolls? I don't know. I will link down below where you can find them because now I'm very much confused. Oh, it's an... Wait, it's an... Oh, okay. So it's an indie makeup superstore. So the Instagram account is called Freaking Fabulous Cosmetics. I will link it down below. But their site is called Sticker Dolls. That was it. And they have a bunch of things. Oh, 20 pounds. Okay, so they're 20 British pounds, which is... Uh, um, say 22 euro. So say between 20 and 25 bucks. It kind of depends on the exchange rate. So yeah. But I think these look very, very cute. So let me know your thoughts down below. Let's next go to Sydney Grace. Because Sydney Grace has put some bundles in a palette, if I'm not mistaken. So the California Coast and the Mountain Trail. California Coast has all new shades and comes in light uh, deep version. Slide 2 is the dark version. So that's the uh, light version. No, slide 2 is the dark version. Okay, looks pretty. Okay, and then... Mountain Trail are previously uh, singles, now available in a palette. Both palettes are part of their Christmas in July sale. And the sale starts the 25th of July. If you make a purchase 70 bucks plus, you will get a California Coast palette for free. Okay. Um, I really like how these bundles look. Yeah, I like the color stories. I like the fact that in the nude, you have a lighter and a deeper version. I uh, think... Yeah, I like both. I think I, maybe I would, if I were to uh, get a California Coast, it would probably be the lighter version. Yeah, I think so, just because I like the tones in there. But yeah, that mountain trail, it's it's stunning. It's what, it's an olive, it's an olive palette. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty indeed. Um, let me know if you are excited for this. Yes. Uh, what do I have? Oh, yeah. And then what I also have is uh, 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 the a new mini from Natasha Denona. It was a Natasha Denona bronze. No, go away. Do not do that. Thank you very much. It has already launched. Now, it says here that it's available, well, available for pre-sale. And I read somewhere that it would launch in Europe on last Sunday. Uh, it hasn't. Or well, at least not on Sephora France. And Natasha Denona tagged Sephora France that it would launch there the 17th, I believe. I checked right before I sat down to film. It's not there yet. Now, I have to say that the bronze palette is one of those palettes that I'm constantly eyeing. I have a few palettes that I'm constantly eyeing. And this is definitely one of them, the big bronze palette. Do I need it? No. Uh, will I be able to use it often? No, um, but I still want it because I think that it is a very, very pretty. And I think that the mini bronze is also very, very pretty. Have I bought it? No, because it, maybe it's for the best. I want to buy less. I already said I want to buy less uh, and I haven't seen it on Sephora Friends. So as far as I know, it's not available in Europe right now or at least not yet. Um, not where I'm shopping. So it saves me money. Yeah, what can I say? But it's a basic bitch palette. But I still think that the color story is very, very pretty. Do I have it? Yes. I basically have a warmer neutral palette from Catrice. Which will... Oh, that could be a nice... That could be... That could potentially be a nice video to compare the two. Will I do that? Probably not. But it is a very nice ex excuse for me to buy the palette, isn't it? Yeah. Let me know if you are excited. Uh, I think that I have one thing left right now. I told you it was... I've only been filming for 19 minutes. Really? Really? Wow. Okay, well, anyway. Um, the last thing that I have here is from Woma Beauty. I mentioned Woma Beauty last week. Um, and this is the... Uh, collection uh, which is called Salute to the Sun. It's an ode to the sun, uh, an homage to ancient Egypt and the beauty rituals of its powerful female pharaohs. Um, there's an eyeshadow palette. There are also, also, also 
Hmm. There are also three liquid highlighters. There's a, uh, a mascara and two shades. A blue, I love that blue mascara is coming back. That's so me when I grew up. I had a bright blue mascara. I also had a dark green mascara and I love the bright blue mascara. I don't like blue eyeshadow that much, but that blue mascara, it did something to me. So it brings me back to them. To then, then. Yes, uh, there's also a few eyeliners and there's a few lipsticks. I don't know if the collection will drop globally. Um, I think this looks very pretty. I love the color of that blue mascara though. This looks like a mascara that's very, very pigmented. Because I have tried blue mascaras. And then I was like, I have to coat my lashes 15 bazillion times for it to show up. But this looks at least to be very nice and pigmented. I like the color story of the palette as well. I like I like that they put in that blue. Yeah, I do. Um, is it for me? No. No, but this is kind of a different pop of blue. Or at least I feel it's a little bit different pop of blue. I like where they are going. I like the colors that they chose. Yeah, I think it looks pretty. I think it looks like a pretty collection. Would I get anything? I would love to try one of those liquid highlighters. Sure. Uh, and then the blue mascara. For the rest, is it? It's not what I personally go for. That was that was it. That was everything that I wanted to talk about today, which was wow. Well, I don't think I ever had a new makeup release that was this short. But uh, it is what it is today. Um, I'm still kind of here on the side. Usually, I shouted out my members, but as I have mentioned in a few videos, I'm going to. I have decided to st to stop um, the membership on YouTube and go over to Patreon. Because I feel that, having checked out Patreon, I feel like we can build a more of a community feeling there on Patreon than in the membership. Now, I already have the community here on YouTube and it will still I will still upload videos on YouTube. But I feel like the membership part here, it's just lacking compared to what I can offer you guys on Patreon. Yeah, if you're still a member, thank you so very, very much. Please, please check out Patreon. I will wait a few days before I close down the membership here on YouTube. I will just, I, I think it's a switch that I can just turn off. Um, so yeah, you see the Patreons that I currently have scroll on the screen. And uh, thank you so very, very much for crossing over. So let me know down below uh, if you, there was anything that you extra enjoyed that you want to get. Is there anything that I missed? If you think that I missed anything, uh, follow me on Instagram. Instagram and tag me. Thank you so, so much for watching. I am going to go. I'm going to make dinner because it's almost that time of day again for me. We're going to eat vegan pizza. They're pizzas from the Good Baker and they are so, so tasty. Mm, they sell them at Albert Heijn. If you live in the Netherlands, definitely worth it. And even if you are not vegan, but you like pizza, it's definitely one to check out. You can always spruce it up with, I don't know, some pieces of salami, but it's so, so tasty. Yes. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm going to wish you a fantastic day, fabulous evening. May your foundation always match your neck. And I will see you very soon for my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.